In her debut campaign speech on Monday, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris vowed to call on her experience as a courtroom prosecutor in dealing with Republican nominee Donald Trump. I took on perpetrators of all kinds. Predators who abused women. Fraudsters who ripped off consumers. Cheaters who broke the rules for their own gain. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. Trump is due to be sentenced in September for falsifying business records to hide hush money payments to a porn star. He also faces criminal charges related to his efforts to overturn President Joe Biden's 2020 election victory. The speech to campaign workers in Delaware came just 28 hours after Biden stepped aside amid questions about his age and health and endorsed Harris. I love you, Joe. The former California attorney general and U.S. senator also said that building up the middle class would be at the center of her presidency. Together we fight to build a nation where every person has affordable health care, yes. where every worker is paid fairly, and where every senior can retire with dignity. All of this is to say building up the middle class will be a defining goal of my presidency. Harris also highlighted other policy priorities, including gun control and reproductive rights. If Trump gets the chance, he will sign a national abortion ban to outlaw abortion in every single state, but we are not going to let that happen. The Trump campaign slammed Harris after the speech, calling her, quote, just as incompetent as Joe Biden and even more liberal. Harris went to work consolidating Democratic support for her presidential bid minutes after receiving Biden's backing on Sunday. According to multiple sources late on Monday, Harris has secured support from a majority of delegates to the Democratic National Convention. That likely ensures she will become the party's nominee for president next month. Harris's campaign also said it had raised $81 million in the 24 hours following Biden's exit, the most for a single day in the 2024 campaign for either party. Harris will travel on Tuesday to Milwaukee, the largest city in the battleground state of Wisconsin. The city last week hosted a Republican National Convention that offered a stark display of Trump's dominance over his party. God bless the United States of America.